Here we go. We're going to go through a little bit of a history lesson here with music. So this is just 10, 10 periods of music. So, so you got to think about when the, when the record player was first created, right? They, they made the, uh, what do they call it? How you doing, boss? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the RCA one with the horn. You're, you know, like the RCA uh, logo with the horn with the dog listening. It's, it's, I forget what it's called. But anyways, like, they came out with those crank, crank ones first. I, I just watched A Wonderful Life, and in A Wonderful Life, they cranked it up and they were playing the music. It was kind of cool. And then they came out with automatic record players, right? So the 45s came out. So during the 50s and the 60s, you know, you you would have all your jukeboxes would have 45 albums in there. This one is uh, "Whisper to Me Wind" by Shirley Elvis. I'm not sure who that is, but 45s came out. The phonograph. There we go. The crank phonograph. All right, then, then we have the full-size albums, right? You, that, this way you could put 12 songs on an album as opposed to only having one or two full-size albums. These, these were really big in the big band era during the 50s and the 60s, you know. Those are so hard to sell right now. Big band is so hard that people bring in cases of big band era uh, records and we can't do anything with them. We do like the 60s rock, we like 70s and 80s, anything above that. You know, I even find, like, my kids all have a record player in their bedroom, so they still bring, uh, what records you got in your bedroom? I got Prince. Prince, sweet. Spider-Man songs. The Spider-Man, yeah. Rocky. Rocky. I got the, like, what, the Sunday Night, no. Saturday Night Fever. Saturday Night Fever. I got, I got yeah. Michael Jackson. Oh, and Michael Jackson Thriller, right? Wow. And he got. I got Beethoven and Mozart. Thriller. Wait. Beethoven and Mozart. Wait, and he, he got the he got the Prince Purple Rain album with the poster in it, and in the, the poster wrapping. is mint condition. So in he. Still, still in the wrapping. That's wow. right. Right. So, so you can see kids kids still you hey, you go to Walmart now they selling records at Walmart there I saw that the other day. I got Beethoven and Mozart. Next we got the eight track. I told here turn the camera around to Stanley. Turn the camera. Around. Stanley did not know. Stanley did not know what an 8-track was. He was like, what the hell is an 8-track? What's up? Hey, I need to check on a pal to see if it's this week or last week. It starts in two, day, two days. And it starts It starts tomorrow. It's supposed to be Sunday night. Okay, so the problem with this is if you're driving down the road, you can't play this in your car, right? So they, come up, they had to come up with a way to, to play music, so they came up with the 8-track. Now you can put an 8-track player inside your car. We got a we got a tape inside here, and uh, you can you can play the 8-track. You can listen to you know 10, 12 songs at a time. Now, I remember my dad. My dad used to have Conway Twitty. We had a we had a conversion van when I was a kid, and we used to go on trips. There were seven of us. We all pack in that conversion van like it was our house, and he played Conway Twitty all the way, all the way, a whole bunch of country music. But that's what they did back then. This is uh, this one was Eddie Rabbit. Eddie Rabbit. So then they came out with the cassette tape after that, the cassette tape. They wanted to make the eight track a little bit more compact, you know, more portable. So now they had cassette tape players, right? You guys ever had a, like a Walkman? They came out with a Sony Walkman. That's super collectible right now, getting a Sony Walkman. They came out with cassette players. This is really my generation. What I grew up on was cassette tapes when I was in high school. And at the same time when I was in high school, they switched over and they started making CDs. CDs, that's when the CD came out. This is, uh, I don't even know, Philip Craig and Dean. Thanks, man, I appreciate it. No problem, I'll be back in there. Okay, thanks. So CDs, now it's a little bit higher quality music in the CD. You, could, you have portable CD players like the Walkman, you can put a CD in your car, your CD in your house. You know, they really resolved, you know, having, uh, you know, with a cassette, you had to fast forward to the next song, fast forward to the next song. Everybody, when you were my age, you all, everybody made, made a mixtape. A mixtape in case you got your girlfriend, you know, alone at night, so you had to play on your mixtape, right? Love CDs, yeah, CDs you couldn't, they weren't recordable when they first came out, so it was a little tougher. Then, then eventually they made them recordable so you can make your own mix CD tape, right? So then everything started becoming digital, digital. So Apple came out with, Apple, Apple came out with the, uh, with products called the iPod. And there was a couple other, there was, I know there was the mini DV player, the mini CD player that came out, but those were all fads and they really didn't work. When Apple came out with the original, this is not the original iPod, this is I think the iPod Nano. Third generation, Third generation Nano right here. But the iPod came out with a Nano, right? It's 30 gig, I'm not the Nano, it came out with the iPod. It was a 30 gig player that could hold hundreds and hundreds of songs. So now instead of only having seven songs on a CD or 12 songs on a cassette, you could put 500 songs on the iPad and then every year they just, iPod, 
then every year they just became better and better and better, right? So they came out with the iPod Nano. This here was the, uh, the Samsung tried to compete with them with their little MP3 players. A lot of companies came out with MP3 players, but they really didn't catch on like the iPod. Now that then they came out with the iPod Shuffle, right? Now you could clip that right here on your belt. This thing would hold like 500 songs in that small, small thing. Because remember, the iPod was kind of big when it came out. It was a lot bigger than the Shuffle or the Nano. So, yeah. And then they came out with the holy freaking grail of music, right? This is the iPod Touch. The iPod Touch. Now this son of a gun could hold like 7,000 songs. So you could put as much songs. Now we used to, how'd you get songs back in the day? You know how you got songs for free back in the day? thing called Napster, oh. right? You go into Napster, you download the song, you put it on your iPod, boom. It was illegal, that company did get shut down and people got arrested, but hey, everybody in the world used it. But we had the iPod Nano. If you had this back in the day, you were the coolest, you were the slickest dude walking around, right? Because you had all the music. You could bring this to the parties, hook it up to the amp, and you could just start, I mean, imagine, you had to carry around, when you were a DJ, you had to carry around 5,000 of these or one of these. What would you rather do? Obviously, you'd rather just come around one of these, right? All the songs on here, right? And now what do they have? Everything, I don't know why my son has a pink iPhone, but, but everything is integrated all into your cell phone. So you got all your music, your pictures, so done with digital cameras, everything is all on the phone. So the technology has just, has just everything's going towards digital. Everything's leaning digital. Everything in the world is leaning digital. No matter what company you're with, no matter what product you're using, no matter what you're doing, it's leaning digital. And that's why I invest in cryptocurrencies, right? Because that's the next thing to go. Everything ties, everything ties back to crypto. So anyways, this is the evolution of how music how music has uh, passed down the generation. So, and it's super cool to see all this stuff. We get this kind of stuff in all the time. And some of this stuff is actually, some of this stuff on eBay sells really well, really well. And uh, you can make a lot of money buying and selling. Oh, Diana lost her phone. That's kind of weird. That never happens. This is like the first time it's happened. In a while. Yeah, in like seven minutes. <laughs> if you're not looking for it, you can't lose it. That's true.